beaches in their numbers as it's the first day in months that they're allowed to bench on the shoreline leisurely. You are the only one. Well, camera woman Leona Nicholas Reyes and reporter Alicia Boucher visited Maracas Beach to see what the situation was like. Let's head to that report. The announcement that the COVID-19 restrictions are relaxed in relation to beaches did spark some anticipation that there would be a rush. So much so that it came as a warning from the Prime Minister on Saturday as he urged people not to crowd the beach. But did they listen? The Maracas Lookout can sometimes give you an idea of what's taking place in terms of human flow. Owner of Eden's Sweet and Sour Hotspot, Sandra Mahaber, says... Her business place opened just after 6 a.m. What we're seeing is not what we anticipated, like a lot of people coming out, the crowd, no, we didn't. Uh, Granted, today is Monday. Today is Monday, yes. Um, usually before the lockdown on a Monday, we always used to be busy. But since the lockdown, again, like you see, and if you look around, you can actually see, um, it's only a few people, and that's only right now, but for the past hour, so we just had like, um, like one and one and one, like, I know, few coming up. It's the same crawl in terms of customers that Cleon Mitchell, who operates IB Cash for Snowcone, experienced during the mid-morning period. Just normal traffic for the day since I've been here today. It's normal traffic. No increase in human traffic or probably in the evening time, like all after one, one so we might get some traffic, hopefully. We caught up with Antonio Joseph, who was on his way home after a 6 a.m. romantic rendezvous in celebration of his wife's birthday. You know, we can enjoy life, man. Enjoy. You know, you can't beat that you go sunrise, so. Yeah. Oh, so you came up to look at the sunrise yeah, on Terry Go. That's correct. You see, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta be smart, save on your, you know, spend it and thing. And come up and enjoy Glenn Nature, take care of the expenses. <laughs> The drive to Maracas Beach was pretty clear in terms of vehicular traffic and that is indicative of what we are seeing outside here today. Not a lot of people on Maracas Beach. The shoreline right now is lined with red flags. The water is rough like God say. There is a lot of currents right now out there. But it's not deterring sea bathers who have come out in small numbers, very small groups. The largest group I think we've seen so far is a group of five. And they've come out to enjoy this recreational activity. You would note it's the very first day they're allowed to venture onto the shoreline, back into the water, since beaches were closed to the public in August. For Christopher Ramsundar, a.k.a. Mr. Southfolk, going to the beach is a routine he does every Sunday and Monday. Oh my God, today is like my birthday. I came up here today expecting that the beaches would have been full, but at, at least... So there's no natural area to be able to find a heat into it so we could just come to the beaches at a limited time where people could enjoy it. I'm glad for the turn out of people. People said come out on the beach because they wanted to come. And we decided what's to come to and we come out there and take a nice little bit. Why you decided um, today? I mean, today is the first day that you're allowed to come back onto the beach, but why Why today? Watch how long. It's how long now? Two months? Since August. Since August. We haven't been... Lifeguard Arnaldo De Vitale gladly picked up his shift at 10 a.m. after being home during the time frame beaches were closed. From the couple of hours in which beach opened up until now, we more or less see members of the public adhering to the COVID-19 regulations, the social distancing. We don't want the influx of people rushing to the beach all at once. And for those who are going, COVID-19 isn't the only thing they have to be cautious about. The red flags that you see on the beach, around the beach, every red flag you see here represents a rip current. So in front of every flag there, rip current. So we kind of advise the public and all, when they come into the beach, pay attention to the red flag, pay attention to the lifeguards. As for those who depend on beach activity to make a living, public obedience is vital. Misty Garcia, who works at Richard's Vegan Shark, has noticed the change in behavior and she's crossing her fingers that it remains that way. If it go back to how it was, then it's not just that all of us will suffer because they cut down on staffing. Remember, everybody will make an entry and here is our bread and, um, bread and butter at the end of the day. Despite the small crowds here today, several persons, including business owners, beachgoers, and even lifeguards, are expecting things to pick up by Friday and into the weekend, but they are hoping that it will continue to see this level of compliance. Reporting from Maracas Beach, I am Alicia Boucher for TV6 News.
and over in Tobago, no overcrowding on the beaches, lots of social distancing and lifeguards on patrol. Reporting Elizabeth Williams visited to give you a sense of what's happening. Here's a report. A sense of relief. As beachgoers, we're happy to return to the majestic waters of Tobago. Authors will start the story. All persons we spoke with said that they were happy the Prime Minister relaxed the public health regulations to allow for sea bathing once again. Good, very good. It's always excellent. So, for me, fabulous. Okay, were you happy when you heard that the Prime Minister was relaxing the measures? Oh, definitely. And it so happened that we chose to come here before that, hoping that he would relax it. So we were right. <laughs>